Average speed challenge. Um, it is November 17th. I got the Kestrel Talent again today. Kestrel Talent T bike. And I'm using the, the Alien helmet today. The laser card is. And got my uh, kit on. And alright. What else? I'm using my. Carbon shoes, and I'm gonna try to get the best average speed that I can do today on the TT bike. The past two days, it's been 17 miles per hour average. Hopefully today, I can try to do 18. All right, wish me luck. Thanks. All right, guys. Time to get into TT mode.
that now. 26, 27, 27, 28. taking a break and I was on the rivet on the way here I'm about eight miles in of the 15 mile requirement doing a Strava average speed challenge right now posted by uh, an amazing youtuber and vlogger uh, named Warren Smythe out of the UK Sorry for the wind. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do a quick bike check. So I got full Altegra on here with the Wolf Tooth 1136 cassette. Altegra fun, Altegra brakes. Um, this is a full carbon bike. Not the lightest of TT bikes, but I have fun with it. Adamo Racing Saddle, Double Nose, uh, Sintes CX Stratos Carbon Bar, Titanium Mesh around the clamp zone, Specialized Stem, and T2 Profile Design Traditional TT Bars. Aluminum, aluminum alloy, TT barring shifters, profile design brakes, and Mavic Axiom wheels, 2010. This bike is a 2010, so it's quite an oldie, but a goodie. I did switch out the crank. The crank used to be silver, traditional steering of 5339, but I wasn't into that. I like spinning. And I like climbing. That's why I threw this crazy cassette on the back. But, alright. That's about it for bike check. Keep watching. Thanks for subscribing, watching, and tap that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the ride. And if you're doing the same challenge, kudos to you as well. Have an awesome ride.
Okay, so lesson learned. That was not even worth taking the shortcut through Horse Dung Road and the back road of this old golf course here because it was so riddled with potholes I couldn't get in the aerodynamic position anyway. So I should have just stayed on the main drag, battled it through the wind, which it was windy here anyway, but at least I wouldn't have had potholes. So kind of screwed over my average speed right there. So hopefully I'll have to double back on the way back westward. And uh, I got two more miles left. Just got to haul ass two miles that way save my Strava and see what my average speed entails. Uh, hopefully 18 or better baby. That's the goal. Got the TT helmet on today. It better pay off. it up to the Bluetooth on my cell phone and awaiting the results. Hopefully, hopefully I get that 18 mile per hour average or 19 if I'm lucky. And happy days, call it a day, smile, have some coffee, stay iry, peace out. So my average speed wasn't exactly what I wanted, probably because I went down Horse Dung Road and the golf course cross street with all the potholes, but I'm going to learn from that error and try again another day. Increase the average speed, I'm trying to hit 18, that's the goal. After I got home from my ride um, and saving my Strava at the end of my ride, I rode home three miles, um, which I didn't add to my average speed challenge. Uh, my average speed was 19 miles per hour, so everything everything paid off. The TT helmet, the using my carbon shoes instead of my composite shoes, and. Um, Close, 19 point something, 19 and some change. 
So, all right. So tips for that, increasing your average speed, I would say definitely, yeah, choose a flat road. If you do go out on a windy day, just uh, try to take advantage of the tailwind portion of your windy day because on your return, you're going to be hitting crazy headwinds, which is going to suck. Um, but you got to double back and just go balls to the wall on the tailwind portion. Uh, that's what I did. And what else? Um, make sure you bring your hammer gel with you because you're going to be using a lot of energy. Um, try not to go 100% on any one portion because you still want to save your legs for just in case you need to do repeat efforts if you're doing laps. And also because this is a 7 day challenge you don't want to really build up too much lactic acid or go too hard because you're going to have to do it again the next day. Um, even though it is only one hour, you can go too hard and be too achy the next day, which would suck because then your average speed overall would dwindle down. So you might have a really fast day and then your next day would be a really crap day. So that wouldn't be good. Alright, this explanation is getting too long, uh, thanks, and check out the photos after I take screenshots from my Strava. Alright, woo!